Hello. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Vintage Potential Night. Hello. I am already seeing you in the comments. Congratulations goes to Pamela. She was the first. Hello. Thank you so much. Pamela is here. Trudy is here. Sherry and Rach and Steph. Hello. Daniel made it. Ellen, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. So good to see you. Stacy is here. Anita and my sweet Cassandra. Mwah. Did y'all see that picture of her watching me last week? Oh, be still my heart. Oh my goodness. Hello. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Don't want to miss anybody. Hello, Kim and Marion and Talora are here. Yay. On Kiki and Nettie. Hello. Hello. And Lorraine is here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I am really excited. If you can't tell, tonight is extra special. I need you all to tell me um, if it's working. Okay. Tonight we are streaming three places at one time. Triple threat. Tonight is a triple threat night. But the important thing that everyone needs to understand, now I am seeing my first hello from Kathy on Facebook. Hello, Kathy. Now, here's the deal. To be fair, I wanted to, to stream so that people that hadn't, just, that just watch. Um, if you would like to just watch the auction, you can watch it live right now on Facebook, on the official Vintage Potential page and the MVP page. But the thing is, you have to come to YouTube to bid. Now, we tried to turn. Oh, Marie is watching too. Oh, Marie is Kim's sweet little baby. On Facebook, you can watch, but I cannot accept bids through Facebook. So everyone needs to come join us on YouTube in order to participate, okay? So that's scrolling at the bottom of your screen. So please don't get upset. Just come on over, join the party on YouTube to bid. But if you wanna just watch and enjoy the show, you are welcome to on Facebook. Thank you so much. All right, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Christy, I'm assuming, did it not give you the option to turn off the comments on a live? Because I am seeing comments and that's fine. That is fine. I just as long as everyone understands that I cannot accept bids through Facebook. What's wrong, Daniel? I see a uh-oh. Let's see. Let me back it up. Michaeline, hello. And Art and Tammy are here. Faye and Brian, good evening. Kathy and Brittany's here. So good to see you, girl. Oh, let's see. Oops. No, no, no. Oh, dear. I hope I didn't just put somebody in timeout. Oh. I hope I didn't put somebody in timeout. I wasn't trying to do that. I don't think it did it. Good Lord. Oh, no, we can't have that. Okay, there was no option. So we did try to turn the comments off on Facebook, but evidently you can't do it on a live. Go figure. Triple threat. Yes, Daniel, triple threat. Triple threat tonight. So for those of you who are on Facebook right now, all you have to do is go to the Vintage Potential channel on YouTube. If you already, if you have an iPhone, um, more than likely, you have a Google account. So therefore, go to YouTube. Uh, see, you might already be set up. But normally, that's the case. Try to log in. Find me at Vintage Potential. I hid Candy Atkins. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. This is a new one. This is a learning experience. We've never done this. Oh, Candy. Oh, Candy. Come back, Candy. Where, how did I do? 
Well, I see her now. Candy, are you, I, I see your comment. Oh no, don't hide me. I am so sorry. I would never hide or block you, Candy. Say one more thing so I know that you're there. It must have just been a so many second deal. I think that's for when you're bad and I put you in timeout. <laughs> oh, good. The VP Calico Diva did it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Janet. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. And Nick and Kat are here. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, well, I'm glad we learned how to do that. So, You're trying to get me on the television. Do you see on your cell phone, Janet, an option to mirror your cell phone on the television? Kind of like if maybe if you, depending on what kind of phone you have, if you swipe down on the home page, maybe you will see. Oh, I just deleted her comment. Whew, good, because Candy has to be here for it to be a party. Yes. Okay, well, I hope, Janet, if nothing else, you got me on the cell phone. Just hold me close, Janet. Okay, 35 of you already here. Thank you so much. Can anybody confirm for me that it's working properly on Facebook? Don't worry, I won't start. You won't miss a thing. Just see if you could go and is it, do you see me on there? Do you see the live sale? I have only seen two comments i believe so far from facebook oh you well you are messaging oh well janet you cannot you can only watch on your television so just focus on your phone so that you can comment and bid you're not going to be able to to comment on your tv so just stick with your phone and and you got it. You got the comment part down because I can see you. Okay. Do we have any confirmation that it's working on Facebook? Give me a shout out if you are looking at me on Facebook right now. Hopefully everybody has run over to YouTube. Coming through on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Okay. Well, let's get to it, folks. Hello, Cindy. I am so glad we are coming in crystal clear. Thank you, Anita, on Facebook. Very good. Now, if somebody could check the MVP page. Is it showing up on the MVP page? Sorry, I don't mean to make you work. You got to work for it tonight. Not on the TV, just your phone. Well, that's okay, Janet. Don't worry about the television. Just keep just keep me on the phone, okay? Because I don't want you to miss tonight. You cannot miss tonight. Here we go, folks. Oh, I have a fa I have a Facebook thumbs up. This is exciting, folks. I'm sorry. This is exciting. I have to check it out. Do, 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 do. You can't um, cast and comment on Facebook. Well, that's what it's supposed to have done. But uh, anyway, it's okay. It's okay. Just as long. Yes to the MVP page. Very good. I can't believe it's actually working. All right. Do, do. The MVP page, just as long as you're following, I mean, feel free to try to, to join the Vintage Potential MVP page on Facebook. I created that kind of during the first of the, oh, I can't say the word, during the first of the crud um, because so many people weren't seeing regular posts on the official page, but it was like it was working if you belong to a group. So it's really duplicate things when I post it. It's just some people see it on the MVP page and some people see it on the official vintage potential page. So it's, it's the same thing. It's just my attempt at trying to reach more people. Okay. All right. Let's get to it folks. Welcome. 
We're on the MVP page too. Very good. For anyone that is new, tonight is a very special night. It is a Valentine themed sale. My name is Jessica Casper. If you don't know, I'm the owner creator of Vintage Potential. Tonight will be a live auction style. I will hold up an item and tell you everything you need to know about it. And all I ask is that you bid in the comments within at least $1 increments. Again, tonight is a special night because I am broadcasting in three different places. But to be fair, because obviously the bidders need to see each other, we are only going to accept bids on YouTube. So if you are on Facebook right now and you want to actively participate, just go to Vintage Potential on YouTube and you'll find me and hopefully you can do a test comment and make sure that I can see you. Okay, we have a local pickup and shipping are available. Please understand that is in addition to the cost of your item. Okay, make sure you are in live chat. You will see the word live on your screen and not top chat. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat. Thank you, Terry. I'm so, that excites me. Thank you so much. All right, is there anything else? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Folks, I am one person away from hitting, well, I was one person away from hitting 400 sub subscribers. Can I get one? <laughs> Let's round it off to a nice number. I'd like to hit five, but, but let's, I don't want to say let's set the bar low, but let's, let's be able to accomplish this goal tonight. If you are not subscribed to this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. All you have to do, I think, um, I'm not sure, depending on whether you're watching it on your cell phone or desktop, just kind of look around for me, see if you can hit that thumbs up and subscribe. That way you will receive notifications when I am live in the future. Okay? I think we've covered it all. Are we ready? The first item of the night is this beautiful glass decanter. And it even has the metal tag on it for rye, R-Y-E. This decanter is in wonderful condition. It does have the plastic stopper. It is not cracked. I am looking for a $15 start. $15 start. No chips or cracks on this great decanter. Put whichever, and this is totally removable. I just think it's nice, a nice little accessory for your decanter looking for a $15 start on the glass decanter. No chips, no cracks, no stains or funkiness. $15 start. Thank you for the love, Ellen. Looking for a $15 start on the glass decanter. Take the tag off. Put your Listerine in it, folks. That's bougie if you've got your Listerine in a gorgeous decanter like that. So pretty. Looking for just a $15 start on the glass decanter. This decanter stands nine and a half inches tall. Nine and a half inches tall, looking for a $15 start. Great, I love you present. $15 start. Yes, Janet, yours looks so beautiful. Looking for a $15 start on the vintage glass decanter. And again, this is totally removable, just like jewelry for your decanter. Thank you, Lucy, for your bid of 15, looking for 16. 15, looking for 16. It has the diamond pattern on each side. Bigger one, and then your smaller one. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the countdown. Now is the time you want to be 15 or 16. Janet is at 16. Thank you for your bid, Janet. Looking for 17 or higher. 
17 or higher, we're going to do the countdown. Looking for 17 or higher. Thank you, Lucy. Get your bids in. Do not hesitate. You want to be the highest bid before the bid end comment. Thank you, Daniel. It sparkles. She sparkles. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the glass decanter. Can y'all hear daddy? He's trying to play for y'all. I told him to come down here. Can you hear him? Thank you for your bids. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Janet Stocks. She had a bid of $20. Lucy, I am so sorry. Your bid came in after the bid end. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. But Janet got in there with her bid of $20 before the bid end. Ellen, I don't know why you can't see Lucy's bids. Can Okay. But I guess it's important that I can't. And Lucy is bidding through um, YouTube. Congratulations goes to Janet. Thank you so much. All righty, folks. Let's do. Oh, I have so much good glass for you all tonight. Hearts for daddy. Make sure you are in live chat. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, you can come out here if you want to, Daddy. Okay. You're shy tonight. Here we go. Okay. I can. I don't know if they can hear you. Oh. They are sending you hearts. So love for Daddy. Oh, okay. No, we don't need to, we don't need any singing, just instrumental. Okay. For some reason, I can't comment on YouTube. I came back over here, though I can't bid. Well, thank you, Kathy. Kathy, you need to make sure that you have a an actual account. That's why you can't comment. You might can see me, but you need to create an account in order to bid. So that's what's going on. Oh, Daniel has the same dish. That means it's a good dish, folks. I'm just like teasing y'all with this in my hand. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know why you can't see Lucy. But I, I can see Lucy. Here we go. The next item is this stunning pink Fostoria dish bowl. It, it is just, it is so good. So good opalescent just everything you could want in a valentine go into spring bowl okay i'm going to turn this light off for a second so you can, it's hard to it's not it's not doing it justice oh my gosh i need a 24 dollars start on this fostoria bowl no chips or cracks beautiful pink trust me folks it is a gorgeous pink Fostoria. I understand that cat, but I don't know what to do because I can see it. I don't think, I don't think Lucy intends for you not to see her bin. I don't know why you can't see. Sometimes things just get filtered. So just put forth your best effort and then you will know you did all you could do. Okay, because see, Brian can see her. Swung dish at the end of the day. It is beautiful. Looking for a $24 start on the 
pink Fostoria dish. $24 start. I don't know if that's gonna... So pretty. Yes, make sure everyone is in live chat. Looking for a $24 start on this beautiful pink Fostoria dish. So good. Put your little Valentine candies in it. No chips or cracks. It measures six by six inches. Six by six inches. It should glow. Oh my goodness. It should glow. Let's see. Is that the glow? Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's like it's it's like it's charging up or something. Wow. It's even but I didn't think it could get any better. But it does have this really cool purplish. And I don't think it's just from a blue light. It's oh my gosh. Looking for just a $24 start. We should increase the bid. Looking for a $24 start on the pink Fostoria dish. If there is no interest, which I cannot imagine, we are going to put it in the recap round. Looking for a $24 start. Beautiful piece. Hello, Jill. Good to see you. Okay. Next item. Here we go. Who's ready to adopt a puppy dog? It's not just any puppy dog. Oh, come on. Turn my light off. Folks, I have this really pretty. This is made by Inesco. Made in Japan. Dalmatian Bank. It's a bank. It no longer has a stopper. Who cares? It is a wonderful figurine. Make sure. Boop. Everyone is there. And guess what? Not only are you going to get this wonderful Dalmatian, but it has a baby. It has a baby. Look at the little baby. Oh, my goodness. So here we go, folks. Dalmatians, you just don't see a lot of Dalmatians in dog figurines. Great condition. Looking for a $15 start. Let's go. $15 start. Turn this light back on. $15 start on the Inesco Dalmatian figurine slash bank with the little bobby. That would be really cute to give somebody for Valentine's. Looks really good with the red glassware, that black and white. Excellent condition. Looking for a $15 start. Thank you all 50 of you that have joined tonight. Looking for a $15 start on the Dalmatian. And it's a good size. Here we go. It stands almost seven and a half inches tall. Seven and a half inches tall. Looking for a $15 start. Thank you, Courtney, for your bid of 15 Looking for 16. 15 looking for 16. He's so pretty. So pretty and has the original sticker on the bottom. Let's not do that. Let's not blow out. And the little baby so cute. Well, howdy Sandy. I'm so glad you could join the party. Turn this down a little bit. 15 looking for 16, 15 looking for 16, 15 looking for 16. Let's do the countdown, folks. Here we go. Oh, Cat figured it out. What did you figure out, Cat? The live chat. 
Here we go. Courtney is at just $15. Oh my gosh. Pretty scary, but I know what you're doing. You're waiting for the countdown. So here we go. Get your bids in. Please remember you can outbid yourself. I have to take the highest bid. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the Dalmatian Bank and the Little Puppy Dog. Okay. Congratulations goes to Courtney with her bid of 15. Thank you so much. Okay, my coin people, pay attention. The next item is going to be a claim it now situation. I have some steel pennies. Very good, cat. Very good. Yes, make sure it is in live chat. I have four steel pennies. They are all from 1943. Folks, they're just $3 a piece. Let's see, $3 a piece. I have four available to the first four people that type in Lincoln. First four people to type in Lincoln can score themselves this shiny steel penny for just three dollars. I was going to say, put it, it's a good stocking stuffer. We got to come up with something else. <laughs> it's a good Valentine treat. Okay, Woo! Lincoln, 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 Lincoln. There we go, folks. Candy Atkins, thank you so much. Cindy Shirts, thank you. Rach Payton, thank you so much. And Sherry Fleck, that's how it's done, folks. Thank you so much for your claims. We all are so hot on the coins. Let's do another. Let's do another, shall we? I have, well, We'll say I have five and we'll go from there. I have more than that, but I don't want to. Here we go. 19. These are all from 1947 to 1956. They are $8. Washington quarters. Washington quarters from the 40s and 50s. They are each eight, just $8. Goodness gracious, another great coin. The first several people, we'll see how many want to hit. Let's say George. Looking for George. If you want to claim a quarter for $8, looking for George. Hit me with George. $8. From the 40s and 50s. Looking for George, Cindy Shirts. Thank you so much. Candy Atkins, thank you. Sherry Fleck, thank you. And Rach Payton, thank you so much. Okay, would anyone else like a quarter? And if anybody wants another, if you want a duplicate, let me know. Sandy, you need you are on Facebook. So if you want to join in or be able to see the other bids, I need you to come to YouTube, okay? So um, 
you can you can comment to me, but in order to have your bid accepted, I need you to come over to YouTube. That's why you're not seeing the chat. Okay, Rach wants a 49 or 53. Christy, make a mental note of that. I'll see if I can, because you want both of those, if so. Both, both if possible, okay? So, Rach wants a 49 and a 53. So, come on over to YouTube, Sandy, if, if you want to see, want to be able to talk to everybody. Okay. Let me... Anybody else want another quarter? Speak now. Okay. Very good. Excuse me while I get myself organized. Here we go. Thank you, VP Calico Diva. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I introduced the VP Calico Diva, the official bid ender of the night. Why didn't somebody say something? The next item. Have you ever seen a cinnamon tin in hot pink and black? I think this is the hottest cinnamon tin I have ever seen. Watkins cinnamon, okay? This tin is in overall good condition. There is some rust on the top but it's clean on all the sides and the bottom. Isn't it beautiful for a tin? Who knew a spice tin could be so pretty? You're welcome, Rach, thank you. Did I miss candy? Okay, we will try to make all coin dreams come true. Thank you, candy. I just saw it. Here we go, folks. This is a nice tin. It is a very uh, collectible tin. I am going to start it just at 12. Uh, whoo, that's too cheap, too cheap, too cheap. When was the last time you saw a hot pink and black metal tin? $12 start, let's go. $12 start. Think of the Valentine assemblages you could create. Oh my goodness, like for wonderful things coming up such as... You know, the little assemblages of when people put the crafts on top of little figures. Oh my gosh. Maybe you could buy this in a few minutes. So cute. So cute. Looking for a $12 start. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you for your $12 bid. Looking for 13 on the Watkins um, Cinnamon Tin. Thank you. It is almost five inches almost five inches tall looking for 13 looking for 13 on the cinnamon tin so cute here we go get your bids in folks we haven't even that's like half <laughs> that's half price folks looking for 13 or better get your bids in 15 14 13 12 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end on the Watkins Cinnamon Tin. Oh, Brittany, thank you. I appreciate that. And you wanted to make sure you got it, and you did. That is still a fantastic deal. Ellen, I'm so sorry your bid came in after the bid end. The winner is Brittany Harrison with her bid of 15. Thank you so much. Thank you both for your bids. Yay! I've never seen it before. I have never seen that. Okay, let's do some vintage Valentines, shall we? is the season. This is going to be choice. You are bidding on one valentine. I'm going to start them at three dollars. Three dollars. Here is the first valentine. So cute. 
check that out and then I'll read it to you, okay? Here is your second option with the little soldier looking for a $3 start. And then we have the little sailor and girl. So looking for a $3 start. The first one says, wig warm love for my Valentine. My wig warms cozy as could be. Room for you, room for me. Looking for a $3 start on choice. They are used, of course, so they will come with um, writing on the back side. So cute. So cute. Yes, they do have writing. Looking for a $3 start. This is for choice. Now, the little soldier. Put me at ease. Say you'll be my Valentine. Looking for a $3 start. Just a $3 start on an extra special Valentine. And then the little sailor. I can see you, Sandy. Welcome. I can see you. One, two, three. And then we have the little sailor and girl. This one says, we would have clear sailing if you would be my Valentine. Clear sailing if you would be my Valentine. Looking for a $3 start. Thank you, Aunt Kiki. I'm going to count this down fast, so please get your bids in. You are bidding on choice of these adorable Valentines. Howdy, Sandy. So Aunt Kiki is at three, looking for four. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on the Valentines. Looking for the bid end on the Valentines and be prepared with your selections. Okay, Aunt Kiki, let's do it. Would you like the soldier? the little sailor boy, or the Native American theme. Just let me know, or all three. They are just $3 each, just $3 each. $3 each. We're gonna see which ones Aunt Kiki wants. Okay, she wants the Native American. Thank you so much. All right, these are up for grabs. Just $3 each. My goodness. Let me know if you want to claim these for $3. Aunt Kiki is getting the Native American. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, since I teased you with these... How about, I'm going to do both, both together. How often do you get the opportunity? You know, Valentine's decorations, vintage Valentine's, you just don't, you just don't see a lot of it. So you have to grab it up. I have two little picks that you could put in an arrangement of sorts. They're in really good shape. They are flocked, you know, just like the little flocked Santa Clauses. Here we go. Looking for a $5 start. You're getting both. $5 starts, you are getting both. We have the flocked heart with the plastic flowers. Looking for a $5 start. $5 start for both Valentine picks. $5 start. Red flocking with the hot pink flowers. Thank you, Brittany, for your bid of five. Looking for six. Five, looking for six. Now, the heart itself measures two and a half inches tall. Two and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide. So cute. Here we go. Get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on the art um, little picks. Okay. Thank you for your bids. Kim, I'm so sorry your bid came in after the bid end. Congratulations goes to Michaeline Crosby with her bid of six. Thank you so much. Are we ready for some Cranberry Fenton? Here we go, folks. I am looking for a $24 start on this beautiful Fenton specimen. Now, this is the rose pattern. Excellent condition. No chips or cracks. Looking for a $24 start on the Cranberry Fenton Roughly Compote. It stands so about six, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter inches tall. She is a beaut. She is beautiful. Looking for a $24 start. Perfect for Valentine's. Let it flow into spring. Nope, don't do that. Beautiful. Looking for a $24 start on the Fenton. Is everyone awake? We have Fenton, folks. Beautiful. Cranberry. Almost kind of a fuchsia. I'd call it fuchsia. Pink. Looking for a $24 bid. Thank you, Anita, for your bid of $24. Looking for $25 or better. Thank you, Marion. Thank you for the love. <laughs> when nobody bids, just send love. <laughs> Thank you for your bid of 24. Looking for 25. Beautiful piece. No chips or cracks. Let's do it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Okay, Janet, just take me with you wherever you go. Yes, it is, Daniel. Janet, I'm not, oh, excuse me, not Janet. Anita, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> $24, folks. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful piece of Fenton. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I know. It's a late Christmas miracle. All righty. Now, let's do some jewelry. Let's do a little jewelry, everyone. Now, this is going to be choice choice on the following necklaces okay let's see if i can do this all right first up is a beautiful sarah coventry vintage sarah coventry uh necklace i don't think it has ever been worn it's a good length it's about to right here i just have it pulled up on this thing Excellent condition. Folks, I'm looking for a $12 start. A $12 start. This is going to be on choice. So this is your first choice. Then your second choice is this classic heart necklace. Now, folks, this is what I believe to be costume. I don't think it's sterling or anything like that, but you're getting a good chain. It's nice and super clean it is not marked in any way but look at that beautiful silver in color heart everybody needs that looking for a 12 dollars start 
And then last but not least, if you want a trip back to the 80s, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love how it hooks together. This is like a choker, a choker style necklace. It is black and blue with the heart in the middle, looking for a $12 start on the heart choker. Plastic and fantastic. I just love how that does. So here we go, folks, looking for just a $12 start. You have choice between the 80s plastic and fantastic, then this beautiful silver heart. Well, hello, Crystal. Grace Jones style. Good to see you, girl. Right now, we are just looking for a $12 start on this beautiful jewelry. We have signed Sarah Coventry. The silver in color heart and the plastic fantastic heart choker. So good. Looking for just a $12 start. Thank you, Aunt Kiki. Looking for 13 Looking for 13 or better. This is just a classic. Classic and timeless. Looking for 13 or better. 13 or better for choice. Okay, everyone, get your bids in. For the sake of my voice, are y'all okay if I just count down from 10? So don't pussyfoot around. Get your bids in. Here we go. We're just going to count from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on choice of necklace. There is the bid end. Congratulations. Goes to Kim Hannah with her bid of 14. Kim, which would you like at just 14? And everybody, hold on. We will go in order backwards, if that makes sense. But Kim is the highest bidder, and she's going to take the silver heart. Thank you so much, Kim. It's so good. Okay, now, Lucy, for 13, for 13, Lucy, were you interested in either of these uh, necklaces? If not, just say pass for just $13. Waiting on Lucy's response. And then, okay, Lucy's going to pass. And then Aunt Kiki was at 12. Aunt Kiki, did you have a necklace that you were interested in? If not, just say pass and we will move on. We will move on. Just waiting for Aunt Kiki's response, whether she wants the black and blue. She wants the red heart. She wants the Sarah Coventry. Thank you so much. I love it. This was my favorite. Yes, and it's in excellent condition and signed. Good deal, Aunt Kiki. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll put the choker in the recap. Okay. I try to throw in something for my men folks every now and then. Or ladies, whether it's for your man cave or babe cave or diva den, whichever you prefer. I have a set of 1971 plates, not one, but two. It's a set folks. That's how it happens. I need a $29 start. You are welcome, Aunt Kiki. Thank you. $29 start on the 1971 plates. Great condition. 
well, good condition. I won't say great, but they, I mean, 1971, they do have a little bit of wear, but nothing major. Looking for a $29 start on the set. $29 start on the set. $29.1971. Gosh, that banner looks that banner looks aggressive, doesn't it? Let's cut that off. I don't mean it to come across mean or anything. I'm just trying to. And then some people don't like the ticker, but I think. There we go. We'll put the ticker back on. This just looked so bold. I wish it would go shrink. <laughs> $29 start on the plates. If not, we will put it in the recap. Here we go. Okay. Next item. Okay, folks. It's good. It's that good. It's it's me if I was a little pitcher. The color is perfection. This is what my whole logo, everything is based upon is this gorgeous color. This is a Royal Hager. It still has the original sticker, a Royal Hager picture. It is as cute as can be. No chips or cracks. I need a $24 start. Don't let me, don't make me regret this. It is stunning. So good. Ha I'm having difficulty right now. Let me see a $24 start on the teal Royal Hager little pitcher so cute so good it stands to the top of the spout i would say six and a half approximately six and a half looking for a 24 dollar start on the teal royal hager pitcher thank you nick and cat for your bid of 24. Oh, now i know i gotta say goodbye looking for 25 looking for 25 if you are a vintage potential lover then you need this picture in your life it it's the it's my signature color yes looking for 25 looking for 25 or better on the royal hager picture and it looks so good against red folks put your little flower arrangement with your picks, I'm going to have to use Mike Lane's picks. Look at how the red pops in that picture. And then milk some milk. Milk some milk glass. Work some milk glass with it. The red and the white and the teal. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Thank you, Brittany, for your bit of 25. Looking for 26. 25. Looking for 26. We're going to do the countdown. I'm going to do just 10 seconds. Get your bids in. Make me feel good about this. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, I told you 10, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end on the Royal Hager picture. It's so good. <laughs> I need to get something to drink. It's so good. Whew. Thank you. I feel better now. There is the bid end. Thank you all for your bids. It's going to live with Ellen. Thank you so much with her bid of $40. Thank you so much. You're going to love it. You're going to live with Ellen now. Thank you all. Here we go, folks. Next item. There's 
since I said milk glass. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Is that an angel? Behind you next to the sugar and creamer. No, that is an old um, half doll pin cushion. Yes, congratulations to Ellen. Thank you so much. The next item is this beautiful milk glass candy dish. I don't think I've ever had it in milk glass. I think I have sold it in clear, but not milk glass. I love it. Love it so much. Let me turn the light off. It's blowing out. We cannot have you blowing out. Look at the detail. Look at all the little circles. I'm looking for a $24 start on this piece. It has, I think this is a manufactured flaw right here. A little place I can kind of stick my fingernail in. It's not a major crack or anything like that. I, I seriously think this is a manufactured flaw. You can't see it. Not a soul would have ever mentioned that to you. We are looking at a $24 start. She is modern, so groovy, so fun. Think if you had all your little colored candy hearts in there. $24 start on the milk glass candy dish. $24 start. It stands almost 10 inches tall to the top of the Finial, 10 inches tall on this heavy milk glass candy dish. Use it for Valentine's, mix it into your spring and Easter decor. Then the 4th of July, use it right now for winter time. $24 start on the milk glass candy dish. $24 start. Okay, we will put it in the recap. Next item I'm going to sell these two pieces together because I am making someone's Valentine gift very easy for any of for anyone who is a baseball theme, a baseball person. Anybody who loves baseball, I have the baseball Valentine baseball valentine and it has been written on the back that's okay and it's going to come with this cool ashtray pay no attention <laughs> pay no attention to the background so here we go folks i have this great ashtray excellent condition it is marked 402 on the bottom no chips or cracks and I'm going to include the little boy baseball Valentine. I'm looking for a $15 start. A $15 start on <laughs> $15 start on the baseball ashtray with your going. It just needs to go together. It just works. $15 start on the baseball ashtray and Valentine. $15 start. So cute. $15 start on the baseball ashtray. Excellent condition. We're going to keep rolling, folks. If there is no interest, I will put this in the recap and we will sell it then. Okay. Next item of the night. Look at this pretty lady. I have a Lefton Lady Head Vase. She is so good. Now, technically, I guess you would consider her spring, but because she is pink, she could be incorporated in your Valentine decor. Look at the lips. Love the lips. Her red, her cold paint is perfect on her lips. There are no major chips or cracks. It is a miracle. There is one minor, minor little speck. 
I don't even want to call it a nick because you can't really see it looking at it straight on. You have to turn it upside down to see this little speck. You can see leftin, no major chips or cracks. I need a $24 start on the lady head vase. Leftin lady, $24 start on the leftin lady head vase. Well, then you need to include her, Daniel. Let's see. Six and a half. We're going to say six and a half, approximately seven, depending on that flower. Thank you for your bids. Kim is at 24. She does look like Lucille Ball. She sure does. It just went up. Price just went up, folks. It sure does. And it's just to think, to think that people just got these with their flowers and then they threw them away. Oh, that is just mm, amazing. And she is a survivor. She is in really good condition. It does come with some crazing. Who the heck cares? That's vintage, vintage ceramics. The bow, yes, the bow is in excellent condition, folks. We are just at 24 looking for 25 or better again six and a half approximately seven inches tall for a leftin lady head vase lady head vases honey you ain't gonna touch one for 24 dollars anywhere else they are always sky high looking for 25 or better let's do the countdown get your bids in thank you so much here we go 15 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Who is going to adopt this pretty lady? Looking for the bit in. Looking for the bid end. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, Ellen, I'm so sorry you came in after the bid in that time. Congratulations goes to Kim Hannah with her bid of. 30. That is still a fantastic deal, Kim. Congratulations. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's rock the perfume bottles. Let me get them on the tray, folks. We are going to do choice of these beautiful perfume bottles. I need to do a balancing act. Okay. You have choice of these three choice of these three perfume bottles first up this is very hollywood regency glam oh goodness gracious we're gonna it's two little babies two little babies just living their best life on either side and then we have our two little perfume vessels right there this is choice one choice two we have this wonderful pink satin glass perfume bottle and then last but certainly not least bam look at that have you ever seen such a gorgeous top to a beautiful cut glass perfume bottle folks i am looking for a 20 dollars start a 20 dollars start this is for choice this is for choice on the perfume bottles if you can see this one has a rose cut in each side of the bottle and can we talk about the rhinestones Whew. this one says hand cut on the bottom our little pink satin glass valentine and then our little hollywood regency cherub um, set looking for a $20 start folks that wouldn't touch this one anywhere else this is beautiful no major chips or cracks looking for a 
did Della start? On the perfume bottles, $20 start. Thank you, Anita, for your bid of 20, looking for 21. So cute, I love that one. The, there are no, you know, there are no chips to the stoppers. This metal um, Hollywood Regency one does have a little bit of patina right there, you can see on that side, but that's just vintage metal for you. Really cute. We are at 20 with Anita, looking for 21. Let's do the countdown. Here we go. Get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one looking for the bid end on the perfume bottles this is going to be choice thank y'all so much for being here with me tonight okay miss anita which perfume set would you like would you like one two or three or take them all at just $20 each, you have yourself an instant perfume bottle collection. Just let me know if you want Hollywood Regency, the Pink Satin Heart, or the beautiful Rhinestone. Okay, she's gonna take the excellent choice. She's taking the Rose and the Hollywood Regency. Thank you so much. Let me put these down. Okay, and last call. Is there any love for the little rose? Little rose for the little heart? Isn't it beautiful, Crystal? It is available if anyone is interested. So we have the little the little heart bottle left. I will put this in the recap unless there's any interest right now that want anybody that wants to grab it for $20. Okay, let's do, now, this is a, this might be one of the oldest pieces of the night. I have this adorable tin type in the little velvet lined frame. Let's see if I can get him in there. I included him because he could be, he could be your valentine from who knows when. <laughs> Isn't that great to still have that frame intact and you can still see the image? Make up a good story. Who do we want this man to be so that the price will go up? Folks, I am just looking for a $15 start on this little tin type. The, um, my gosh, the little case in itself, of course, it does come with lots of character. Uh, the main thing, it does have a little place right here. But look, look at this. It still has the little hook. It still has the little hook that hooks it together. So good. $15 start. $15 start on the tin type. $15 start. These are just great to, you know, have that little bit of instant ancestry mixed in with your decor. I'm trying to hold it so the light won't. Looking for just a $15 start on the tin type. Oh, Talara says good night, everyone, and to buy lots of pretty things. Thank you so much. Good night to Laura. Mwah. Thank you, Jill, for your bid of 15. Looking for 16. Oh, absolutely, Crystal. Absolutely. It's an oldie. And look at the velvet. It hasn't been eaten up or anything. So good. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the countdown. Love that little hook. 
Look at the pattern on the back. This is cheap, folks. Get your bids in. We are at 15 with Jill looking for 16. 15 looking for 16. Get your bids in. Here we go. 15, 14. I should have told you the size. Two and a half by three. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end on a true antique, folks. Looking for the bid end. Well, hello, Abby. How are you doing tonight? Just make sure for those of you who are on Facebook, I need you to come to YouTube in order to actively participate in the auction. Okay. Well, hello, Rita. I don't think I've seen you. Congratulations goes to Jill with her bid of just $15. Thank you so much. All right. Let's do some more jewelry. I have a set. I have a gorgeous set. Look at this. Look at the bracelet. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. I can hear my sister and mother now. Why didn't I keep this? I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's. Oh, Abby. Um. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. What can I, how can we help Abby? Just go to YouTube, look up Vintage Potential, and try to comment. See if your comment will show up. If not, you need to make sure you create an account. You must have an account in order to, um, you must have an account in order to bid for your comment to show up. So please, 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 I want you to be able to participate. Yes, that beautiful Czechoslovakian, whoo, just glittery gorgeousness. Now, this is very tiny. I don't know whose neck this is going on. It's obviously a choker, so if you're into chokers, this is for you. If not, um, well, I'm not, it would be perfect for Talara. <laughs> I'm not pushing this. Please, I'm not pushing this on Talara. But um, it is beautiful. Just know that this is a choker choker length but you have your gorgeous clip-on earrings and bracelet folks i'm looking for a 20 dollars start on this set 20 dollars start you are getting the beautiful bracelet look at that clasp it is just whoo the clip-on earrings to match and the necklace please know it is choker size but the bracelet, mm, mm, mm. here come the bids. Okay, Abby, just comment through when you get to YouTube and I'll let you know if I see you. So if you already have an account, you are almost there, girl. You are almost there. Okay, Marion was the first and Marion's still in the lead with her bid of 25. Please don't feel pressured, Marion. <laughs> please but that's all i could think of is that it would be perfect it would be so good for, for my little talara okay nobody's gonna have the nerve to be <laughs> to bid against marion but that's okay here we go get your bids in and don't feel bad if you want it bid on it that's what i've always been told if you want it bid on it here we go 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 looking for the bid end looking for the bid end on the set ooh crystal i like how you think you could loop it. 
you could loop it and make it into an extended bracelet. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Aunt Kiki. You didn't need Brian's bid of 35. You got it for just 26. Thank you so much. So Aunt Kiki gets the set for 26. Well, hello, Sandra. I am so glad you are watching. Uh, if you want to participate, just head on over to YouTube. But I'm so glad you can watch me on Facebook. Thank you so much. Okay. Next item. I have a set of alabaster birds. Aren't they pretty? They have little pink heads and just the cream white color. They're nice and nice and heavy stone. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Here we go on the alabaster birds. There are no, I mean, how on earth? I can't imagine trying to carve this. Okay. All right. Let's Let's do this. Perfect for a Valentine's display. Look at the little lovebirds. Mm, mm, mm. I am looking for just an $18 start. Look at their little beaks. How does one begin to carve that without breaking? I don't know. Oh, looking for an $18 start on the alabaster. Do you know how to carve this, Daddy? You're, oh, daddy, no, daddy could carve it. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Looking for an $18 start on the alabaster birds. Sorry, I got to take a sip. The night is young. I can't lose my voice. $18 start. Y'all don't glow, do you? No, nah. just something unusual. Oh, you... well, do you consider this a glow? There are your birds. Beautiful to put <clears throat> in Valentine's and your spring decor. $18 start on the alabaster birds. We will move on. If you didn't like those birds, honey, you're going to like these. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Hold on. This is choice. This is going to be choice. I'm just going to leave the light off for this. This is going to be choice of a vase. Here we go. The first is this beautiful blue vase with the two parrots. Can you see the little parrots? They are facing each other. Can we see? So good. So I'm going to call them the little love bird. This is your love bird vase. It stands 10, well, nine and a half, nine and a half inches tall. I'm looking for an $18 start. $18 start. This is your first choice. $18 start on the vase for the parrots. Just stay on one light, please. Thank you so much. So here are your parrots. They are phenomenal. And then we have the gorgeous Ruby Red, Happy Valentine's, Happy Fourth of July, Merry Christmas Red. I'm looking for an $18 start. This is on choice. $18 start, no chips or cracks. It is so beautiful. $18 start on the Royal Ruby vase. And this vase stands nine inches tall, nine inches tall. You are bidding on choice of the lovebirds, 
the blue lovebirds or the royal ruby red looking for an $18 start. $18 start. $18 start. Gorgeous. Perfect for Valentine's, folks. The blue parrots or the ruby red. $18 start. No chips or cracks. No chips. Everyone okay? Goodness. $18 start. Okay, let's liven this party up. We seem to need a little stimulation. Let's do this. Are you ready, folks? You are bidding on choice of a 1950s pinup choice of a 1950s pinup. I'm going to start them at $10 each due to condition. They do have some rips. They do have a few stains, but they are still wonderful. Starting at $10, this is your first choice. She is fully clothed in her red dress, talking on the telephone. So this is choice number one. As you can see, there are some rips on the edges, but really good coloring, fun depiction, talking on the phone, 1950s, a dream girl looking for a $10 start. And your second choice, now this one, this one has a little bit of discoloration because this is what's on the back side. Okay, this was your picture on the back side. So all of that blue, and this one is clothed. It's just a little, her, her bathing suit is a little sheer. But the blue from the background image has come through a little bit. But still, she's got that box of candy. She is clothed, everyone. Looking for a $10 start. $10 start on the 1950s pinup. This is for choice. So this is the background, the backside image, which I'm sure nobody cares about. And the backside picture on this one is the like Curier and Ives winter scene. Thank you, Francisca, for your bid of 10. You are bidding on choice of these lovely ladies. Choice. Whether you want the telephone, well, actually, they're both on the telephone. The telephone, the, we'll say red dress or box of candy. Red dress or box of candy. We are at 10, looking for 11. 10, looking for 11. Here we go. Thank you, Michaeline, for your bit of 11, looking for 12. 11, looking for 12. I'm going to start the countdown. So get your bids in. Again, these date around the 1950s. They do come with character. Still highly collectible. Get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I see you, Abby. 3, Two, one, looking for the bid end on choice of the pinups. Choice of the pinups. Yay, Abby made it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, Michaeline, you did it with your bid of 11. Would you like one or both? One or both? Waiting on Michaeline's response. She won with her bid of 11. Whether she wants one or both.
And yes, folks, we will be doing the winner's choice. She wants them both. Thank you so much. We will add that to your collection. Thank you so much, Michaeline. Okay. All right. Now, where? Ooh, let's. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have another gorgeous teal specimen. Looky there. I've been I've been saving this for this moment. It is a teal. I'm going to say Murano style. I do not know if it, I cannot prove whether this is an actual Murano piece or Murano style. It appears to be done very well. No chips or cracks. The color is perfection. It is in the shape of a heart. I'm looking for a $24 start on this bowl. Heart-shaped bowl, no chips or cracks, smooth pontil. It's marvelous. Thank you, Michaeline. Thank you for the love. I'll take all the love I can get. I, see, I missed that. On uh, If you're watching on Facebook now, give me some hearts, some thumbs ups. Let me see if it'll come up for me to see. Does it have decorative bubbles? There, um, the bubbles do have some glittery uh, speckles. Can we see? Looking for a $24 star on this gorgeous teal dish. Well, hello, Kelly in Texas. Thank you for joining me. We're looking for just a $24 start on this beautiful dish. $24 start. Okay, Daniel says it's Murano. Oh, Brittany misses the reactions too. Yes, I do too. I do too. $24 start on a beautiful, we have a Murano vote, teal heart-shaped bowl. How many more adjectives does it need? Looking for a $24 start on the heart-shaped bowl. Okay. Now for those of you who are collecting these gorgeous um, perfume bottles, well, you don't have to use it. You could use it for many things, but this beautiful um, dresser mirror would be perfect to display your perfume bottles, candles, picture frames, little knickknacks. I love it. I love a good dresser mirror. I'm going to blind you now. Okay. It is square shaped. It is beveled. It's a heavy mirror. It does come with some scratches, nothing too terrible. The main mark of character is right here okay that's not a chip that's just in the glass that's okay it's old we love it we embrace it sandy little what were we what is she bidding on what i don't even know oh, the bowl sandy are you bidding on the gorgeous teal bowl just let me con let's confirm thank you for your bid sandy Oh my God, where's everybody coming from all of a sudden? Thank you. I don't know what has happened. I, I felt so alone and all of a sudden. So I want to confirm, ladies, we are bidding on the stunning Murano heart-shaped bowl. Al I'm, I'm still always going to call you Alicia. I just, I just can't break that habit. Alicia is here and she has made it to YouTube land. Thank you so much. I knew you could do it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, wait a minute. Alicia. Alicia is showing that you are on Facebook. You're on Facebook, Alicia. I need you on YouTube so that you can bid. It's showing me you're on face. So, so you're almost there. You're just watching me right now 
on Facebook. Sandy was at 25, then Ellen came in at 35. Thank you both for your bids. So we are now looking for 36, 36 or better on the teal Murano heart-shaped bowl. I got so excited, Alicia. It's okay. It's okay. You're almost there. Just keep trying. Go to YouTube and type in vintage potential for me. Here we go. Ellen is in the lead with 35. Looking for 36. Get your bids in. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the heart-shaped Murano bowl. Oh, another thing I should have kept. And we'll go back to the mirror. Thank you for your bids. Congratulations goes to Ellen with her bid of 41. Thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you both for your bids. Back to the dresser mirror. Again, it does have a few minor scratches, nothing major. And that is your main Marco character. Of course, that's right at the edge with the beveled, so it's not that obvious. Look at the little feet. I need a $20 start. $20 start. It has the uh, velvet backing and a thick beveled mirror. Thick beveled mirror. Here we go. It measures 12 by 12. 12 by 12. Looking for a $20 start. $20 start on the beveled dresser mirror. So good. Don't limit it to your dresser, folks. You could decorate so many ways with this. Again, I see candles. I see perfume bottles. I see glassware. I see fairy lights. It's just the possibilities are endless. Looking for a $20 start. $20 start on the metal. I don't know if you, I don't know if this would be considered pewter. Really pretty dresser tray mirror. Okay, we're going to move along. I have choice of two really, um, these are old. These are oldies. And I think it's, yes, they both say made in Germany. Are you ready? Look at these Valentines. Now, they're cute as could be. They come with their little easels still attached. But look, they're the kind with the little, they're the kind with the little googly eyes. Come on, get dark, darker, darker, darker. Do, 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 do. <laughs> And then you have this little, oh, he's a sailor. He is a sailor. And he also does his eyes back and forth. Now, I'm looking for a $5 start on choice. $5 start on choice of these German Valentines. $5 start on choice of the German Valentines. $5 start. If you are an ephemera collector, they are approximately uh, four inches, four inches to four and a quarter. So good with the little googly eyes that go back and forth. They, they do go well together, but I promise I found them separately. Thank you for your bid, Anita, of five, looking for six. And again, you can work their little eyes back and forth. Made in Germany, made in Germany. Thank you for your bid of five. Everybody get your bids in for the German Valentines. Here we go. I'm gonna count from 10. Looks like Betty Boop's sister, sure could be. Here we go, 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the German Valentines. This is for choice. Do, do, do. These will be really cute. Stick them in a flower frog so that they'll stand. You know, well, no, they have little easels, but you could still stick them in little metal flower frogs. Congratulations, Anita. Would you like one or two or both? The little sailor or the girl or both? I like how she shops. Thank you so much, Anita. They do look so good together. All right. Let's do this. I have another piece of Fenton. I hope everyone is awake. Okay. Now, I had no idea I had this in red. I think I sold this last time in blue. Here it is in a red amberina. It is a Fenton Ruffly vase with that basket weave pattern. And it does have cadmium in it, folks. So she will have that orange glow. Looking for a $22 start on the red Fenton Ruffly dish. Well, thank you, Daniel. Maybe at the at the end, we will cover some of the things if you are interested. So just remind me, okay? Looking for a $22 start on the Fenton Red, beautiful Ruby Amberina Glows Under Black Light dish. looking for just a $22 start. It has a diameter of six inches, six inch diameter. Thank you, Sandy. Great for Valentine's, 4th of July and Christmas. It's gonna come again. No chips or cracks. It is beautiful. Okay, y'all are y'all are stunning me a little bit on the glassware tonight, folks. Let's see. Let's do some coins. Okay, my coin people, are you ready to claim? Are you ready to claim some barber dimes? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five barber dimes. They are ten dollars each. They are all from the early 1900s. There's your Barber Dime. They're $10 each. The first five people that type in Dime. Sherry, I see your bid. We will come back since I have... Um, Let's do the coins and we will back up to Sherry's bid. Looking for the word Dime. I see it. I see her bid. Let's cover the Barber Dimes. They are going to be $10 each. I have five available. Looking for the word dime candy. Thank you so much. Anyone else interested in a dime for $10? Just type in dime. Okay, Kelly Allen, thank you so much. Looking for the word dime, if you would like to claim a barber dime for just $10. $10, and if anybody wants more than one, that is fine. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's go backwards to Miss Sherry's bid. Ooh, I think Sherry is going to steal a Fenton dish. Here we go. Sherry Fleck is at just $22. Just $22 for this beautiful ruby red Fenton dish. Let's get our bids in. If you are interested, now is the time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the red roughly basket weave Fenton dish. Looking for 23 or better. Looking for 23 or better. Congratulations, Sherry. You just scored a beautiful piece of Fenton for only $22. Thank you so much. Okay. One of my favorite items of the night is this amethyst cruet. Oh, look at that. I, it's beautiful. No chips or cracks. It is just so good. Look at that. It has such a personality to it, doesn't it? Okay. Let's put, let's put on our big girl panties, okay? Our big boy panties. I need a $24 start. Yes, Alicia, you are on. Congratulations. Alicia is here, everybody. We are looking for a $24 start on this wonderful cruet. So good. Amethyst cruet. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Daniel's going to put wine in it, what, whatever you want. I could pour Pepsi from it. It's so good. <laughs> Looking for a $24 start. Thank you, Anita, for your bid of 24. Looking for 25 or better. 25 or better for this beautiful, you would call it a cruet. I think of it more as a cruet, but... If you're going to put a drink in it, that's fine too. It's lovely. It is lovely. Let me measure it. It stands eight inches, eight inches tall to the top of the stopper, eight inches tall. We are just at 24. Thank you, Rita, for your bid of 25, looking for 26. 25, looking for 26. She is a beauty. 25, looking for 26. Thank you, Sherry, for your bid of 20. I am so proud of y'all. We, we have officially had an auction tonight. Thank you. We are at 26, looking for 27. 26 looking for 27 she is stunning and purple purple glassware in general is harder to find it really is thank you rita for your bit of 27 looking for 28. let's do the countdown folks get your bids in bid like you mean it when is the last i mean this is the first time i've seen it here we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on this beautiful amethyst piece. We are almost done with the regular auction and then we're going to move along into the um, 
the winner's choice. Okay, thank you for your bids. Congratulations goes to Anita Lassiter with her bid of 41. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Now, I thought this would be really cute to mix into your holiday decor. This is a vintage little cash register, the Uncle Sam's, and I think it is still functioning or can function. Lots of times they're in rough shape. Now this was like, um, what was the amount? When you put up to, it holds $50. It opens every $10 you put in there. How cool. I am looking for a $20 start on this red metal cash register so cute it does come with some character i don't know what's going on back here evidently they were trying to get in there they couldn't they couldn't wait they couldn't get to ten dollars they couldn't wait so they had to make a little <laughs> they had to get to their money but thankfully that is on the back side and it's so cute it does have a little dent right here but just adding these little pops of red to your valentine's decor is so cute so cute looking for a 20 dollars start again i think it's fully functioning a fully capable little cash register looking for just a 20 dollars start on the uncle sam vintage cash register $20 start on the cash register. Okay. Let's see, we're going to have an explosive recap. <laughs> okay. Let's do, let's do choice of Valentine's. These are from the 1940s. Ooh, that sounds good, Ellen. I have three options of 1940s Valentines. This is for choice. I need a $5 start. Let's go. We have the puppy dog, 1940s. And I believe that his arm is movable. Okay. Now, these are large Valentines. This puppy dog is six inches. So just to give you an idea, the puppy dog is six inches tall, looking for a $5 start. This is choice. Look at the cat. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, it's so vintage, so vintage looking. And the cat's arm goes in and out of the little muff. And I'll read them to you in just a minute. And then we have the moo cow. And the cow's head goes up and down. So again, these are from the 40s, looking for a $5 start. They are extra special. They do have writing. This does say it's from mother and daddy. Be my Valentine. Here's a job I think is smart. I'd like to collect your heart. Oh, the kitty cat. This is just for my cat lovers. Don't muff when I try to say, be my Valentine. Sometimes the humor on these, I, I don't know. It just goes over my, <laughs> thank you for your bids. Sherry came in first. Okay. Y'all just bid along. You're doing good. And then here's the moo cow. I'm in the mood. I'd not be bossy Valentine. Cause if you could say that you'd be mine. I got that one. So choice on the puppy dog the kitty cat or the cow. Let's count it down. We're at six with Kelly. Uh, Kelly was the first six. So Ellen, I will need seven or better. This is for choice. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end on the 1940s Valentine's. And somebody went through a lot of trouble 
putting these in plastic and labeling them. They are, st I can remove them if you'd like. Uh, they are stuck with one little roll of, of tape on the back side. It's not a big deal. I can remove it if you want me to do it. Okay, congratulations goes to Leslie Fain with her bid of eight. So, Miss Leslie, would you like the puppy dog, the moo cow, or the kitty cat? Or all three. As the highest bidder, you have that option. Puppy dog, moo cow, or kitty cat. Okay, Leslie wants the cow. Thank you so much. So, Leslie is claiming the moo cow. Now we're going to go backwards. Technically, I guess it would go to Ellen for eight. Ellen for eight because she had the second eight. So, Ellen, did you like the kitty cat or the puppy dog? Let me know. If not, just say pass. Puppy dog or kitty cat, 1940s. Just let me know, puppy dog or kitty cat. Okay, Ellen takes both. Thank you so much for $8 each. All right. Thank you so much. Next up, I have a perfume bottle and powder dish set. You are not bidding on the tray that I'm putting them on, which it looks beautiful, but I need my tray. You are bidding on the set of the perfume bottle and the powder dish or jar. They have pink tops and clear bottoms, no chips or cracks. Folks, I need a $24 start. Please know that the powder jar has a wobble. That's a manufactured thing. It's not chipped, it's not cracked, but it doesn't sit flat. Unless your guests or, well, they shouldn't be going in your bedroom anyway, but if they're going around wiggling your glassware, they need to go somewhere. It's a beautiful set, clear bottom with the pink top, looking for just a $24 start. $24 start on the two-part dresser set. $24 start, clear bottom with the pink top. Gorgeous, gorgeous. $24 start. You're going to make me balance it to measure it, aren't you? Okay, here we go. The perfume bottle is seven inches tall and the powder jar is five and a half inches tall to the top of the finial. Looking for a $24 start. $24 start. On the glass perfume set. Making me nervous. Oh, trying to balance. $24 start on a beautiful set. Does anybody want my two cents? Here it is. Yes, that was lame. Here is a eight an eighteen sixty five two cent piece. I know it's a very dark coin, but it's a good one if I can get the light to hit on it right for you without the glare. Again, it's an eighteen sixty five two cent piece available for thirty five dollars. The first person that types in the number two. The first person that types in the number two can claim this for $35. Okay, 
18, I think I got it. I think I got it. 1865. I, I'm just not going to move. 1865, two cent piece, $35. If there's any interest, be the first person to type in the number two for two cent. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it excites me. $35, $18.65, two cent piece. Sandy's with me. Sandy's with me. Okay. And we'll do, for my coin people, I have a 1909 VDB Lincoln penny. Now you may say, what the heck is what the heck does VDB mean? Well, those are the initials of the creator or the designer of the Lincoln penny. Now I forgot what his name was. Alexa, what was the creator's name of the Lincoln penny? From the sun.com. The penny featuring 16th US president Abraham Lincoln was designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner. Victor David Brenner. Victor David Brenner. Folks, I have two available for $13 each. Just be the first two to type in penny. You learned something tonight, didn't you? Victor David Brenner. So those initials are on these two pennies. That's what's special about them. They are both from 1909, $13 each. Just be the only two people to type in, or the first two people to type in, what did I say? Penny. Thank you, Kelly Allen. So just one left. Looking for Penny. Looking for Penny. Has the initials of the designer on it. VDB, looking for penny. Looking for penny. Okay. Done that, done that, done that. Thank you for your participation. Next up. Okay, folks, this is another near and dear to my heart situation. 1950s, 60s fashion, so good. If I could dress in it every day, I would. Check out this pocketbook. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful thing. Can you imagine the party or the event you went to to wear this? And it is, this is a weapon, folks. If you just needed to, <laughs> if you need to clear a room, you just swing this sucker around on your arm. It is so pretty. It's double sided. Are you ready? It opens up on this side. You have your mirror, your compact, and your lipstick. How awesome is that? Look at that. Look at that lipstick action. There's your compact. But then we have the other side. I do not have any panties in tonight's sale. I'm so sorry. I will be on the lookout. And then we have this side, which could have held your cigarettes or tissues. So good. This is not a cheap purse, everybody. So let's just, let's know this is not a cheap purse. I'm going to start it way low, too low at $25, $25, you are welcome. You are welcome. Can, am I, do I call you Ren, R-E-N? Good old Sears and Roebuck. Looking for a $25 star on this fantastic metal purse. And the purse itself, whoo, oh 
almost took my lights down. The purse itself measures five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Five and a quarter by three and a quarter. It's wonderful. Gold in color. It is gold in color. She is golden. Double-sided, $25 start. Honey, if y'all don't bid on it, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I just wanted to be a good girl and offer it for $25. Looking for a $25 start. Again, you've got that double-sided action. This, this is like... This is like a four in one. You've got your compact, your mirror, your lipstick, your cigarette, your um, tissue cigarette holder. So good. If there is no answer, Alicia, thank you for your bid. Thank you for your bid of 30. Looking for 31. 30 looking for 31, Alicia. I just want to let you know. Um, we're going to share custody of this purse, okay? And you just think of me. If you win, just think of me. Every time you go on a hot date, you're going to take Jessica with you. Every time <laughs> you will be taking Jessica with you on every hot date with this purse. So good. We are at 30, looking for 31. And folks, that is, I don't even want to tell you what the price was on it when I found it. It was, it was not 30 bucks. No, it was not. Here we go. Get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on this phenomenal purse. Okay, you had a little competition there. Congratulations goes to Krista. You did it with your bid of 35. You're going to look so good with that, Chris. Thank you so much. No, I think you've made somebody very happy for Valentine's. Congratulations, Chris. Alicia, I am so sorry. Your 38 came in after the bid end, but I thank you. Thank you all for your bids. Congratulations, Chris. Now, if you missed out on the purse, maybe you could get this gorgeous shawl. Linens and such are so hard to show in a live. So look at the fringe on this baby. Oh my gosh. It has a red backdrop with hot pink, I'd say hot pinks and oranges and greens. This is absolutely stunning. You can wear it on your body. You can drape it across the end of a bed. Let that gorgeous fringe. Yes, you could be Stevie Nicks. You could let that gorgeous fringe um, drape off of your bed, off of a piece of furniture. This looks wonderful. I think you could put it on a small table. I'm looking for a $20 start. I think you could put it on a small table and look, check this out. If I can hold everything up. See how that white pops? If you had milk glass and had this on the table, oh my gosh, it's so good. Looking for a $20 start. There are, I, I don't see anything wrong with this thing. It's beautiful. It's, a, it's hip to be a square. I'm doing a horrible job showing this because I cannot get far enough away from the camera. It is so good. So good. Looking for a $20 start. Look at the fringe. $20 start. Here is the tag. Now it's, this is, I don't know how old this is. 
I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think it's super old at all because here are the instructions as to how to clean it. It doesn't have a maker on it, but it is so beautiful. Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. We can't have our kitty cats chewing on the tassel. So this piece is so just beautiful, whether you wear it or drape it across a piece of furniture. Looking for just a $20 start. $20 start on the shawl. $20 start. All right. Let's see. I think we are almost done. We have a bid. Thank you, Sandy. Sandy is at 20 for this beautiful shawl. Y'all need to wake up because Sandy is going to look hot in this. Yes, she is. So beautiful. That bright red. Mm. Okay, folks, get your bids in. Sandy's at 20. Looking for 21 or better. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on this beautiful shawl. No holes. I don't see any stains. It's wonderful. It's like brand new. So good. Congratulations, Sandy. You did it. You did it. You got it for just $20. Thank you so much. Okay. We were on to this sweet little puppy dog. Look at this little. This is a pencil. They called it a pencil tray holder because you can stick a little pencil in his tail and create the tail. Isn't that cute? There are no chips or cracks to this puppy dog. You could put, um, you could put little uh, candy hearts in him, give it to somebody for Valentine's. I, my favorite Valentine's candy, before I go on this tangent, I need a $15 start on this dog. It's yours, Sandy. It is yours. $15 start on the puppy dog. So cute. I would put those crispy Valentines. A long dog from, from Bluey. A long dog from it. I'm lost. What does that mean? It's something I should know. Daniel's grandma had it. I would put those little chocolate, uh, chocolate candy hearts in it. You know, that kind of have like the Rice Krispie treats in it. So good. so good. They were my favorite. They were always my favorite. Sit it on your desk. Put your remote control in it. This is about the size of our remote control, isn't it, Christy? It could be a remote control holder. It's all about repurposing. It's a kid's show, never mind. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> it could be a remote control holder, a jewelry holder. A men's jewelry holder. That would be cute. Put little cuff links and rings in. $15 start. $15 start. It is. It can be a remote control holder. Okay. I'm going to sell these two. I have two more picks. Two more Valentine picks. A $5 start. Five dollars start. Please know that this little birdie, his his wings, he has flown a many a Valentine. So his wings do come with character, but he's bringing you a Valentine on the mailbox. 
and then we have our classic double heart looking for just a five dollar start on these vintage floral picks they are both flocked they are both flocked so we have our little bird his wings are as is and then the double heart looking for a five dollar start just really cute you rarely find you just rarely find vintage valentine pieces like this looking for a five dollar start five dollar start okay all right Michaeleen, thank you very much for your bid of five. I'm going to count it down, so get your bids in. They'll look great with the rest. Okay, Nick and Kat have come in with a bid of six. Thank you for that subscription, Denise. I see you. Thank you so much. So I should have hit four. I should have hit four. Please, if you are not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it. How we can have almost 4,000 people on Facebook and they not come to YouTube and now we're at 400 so we're on our way we're on our way thank you for your bids Nick and Kat are at six here we go 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two and one looking for the bid end There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Michaeline Crosby with her bid of eight. Thank you so much. Okay, my next item are these beautiful glass grapes. You always see like the Lucite grapes. These are glass, folks. Just really pretty to lay flat like that on a surface. Oh, amber color with green leaves. So beautiful. I'm looking for a $15 start on the glass grapes. Okay. Yes, your phone is always going to be faster. Everyone uh, needs to be on their phone if you are bidding. Now, tap on the first comment you see, Alicia, and see if it will open up the comments section. That should do it for you. When you tap on the first comment you see, it should open it up. Looking for a $15 start on the glass grapes. Amber in color, $15 start. We're coming folks. Trying to make the recap round pretty, pretty for everyone. Okay, I'm coming. The last item, Alicia. I hope you, I hope you can, hope you come, come back, Alicia. This is another good manly item. I thought to put some candy in for Valentine's. It is a musical little mug or stein. It plays for he's a jolly good fellow. Here we go. Let's wind her up. Just something different. And when you sit it down, it stops. 
You could put a plant in it. I don't think I'd really drink out of it. I think it's more for decoration. That's okay, Ren. Okay, looking for a $15 start on this mug or it has like a, a mug slash stein feel to it. It's just different. No chips or cracks. Looking for a $15 start. Again, when you sit it down, it stops. $15 start. Where is it now? You need to stop. Okay, let's, oh my gosh, I almost forgot this. How could I have done that? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I sat it to the side. Look at her. Okay, folks, I need a $29 start on this red, ruby, roughly, amberina specimen. It is beautiful, beautiful, and she does glow. The rim and the base will glow. It does have that cadmium, as you can see right there. Stunning piece, looking for a $29 start. $29 start. Thank you, Daniel. $29 start. The piece stands around five, approximately five and a half inches tall. Well, hello, Ashley. Good to see you. Is that she's stunning? We're just looking for a $29 start. $29 start. She has a diameter of eight. A diameter of eight inches. $29 start. Perfect for Valentine's. Fourth of July, Christmas. That's okay, Ashley. We still have many wonderful items available. Just in time, looking for a $29 start on this beautiful glass piece. Look at that. It doesn't even need a light. She glows on her own. Hey, uh, VP. Calico Diva, can we take care of that? Looking for a $29 start? Yes, Ashley. Whoever can take care of it first would be most appreciated. It just means we're going places, folks. When the spam and the trolls start coming out to play, we've made it. <laughs> it's true. Looking for a $29 start. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We are going to do a lightning round of the recap items and then we will go and have fun for our winner's choice to play with the winner's choice let me get this set up for you Woo! so much good stuff folks here we go let me take you off of well you know you never know. Everyone has their own collections. Okay, I'm going to flip you. Stay put. Don't you go anywhere. We're going to flip the camera. I'm right here, everybody. Do not fear. Okay. Do, do, do. Thank you. Boop. Okay, I'm right here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, I don't, I, I'm a little concerned. A little concerned with everyone tonight. How on earth do we have such goodness left? Let's do it. 
let's begin. Let's let's sell out, folks. We have the 1971 set. I am looking for a $29 start. Just a $29 start for the 1971 set of plates. Looking for a $29 start on the 1971 plates. I'm going to just continue. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for your bid of 29. I am going to do the 10 second countdown, okay? So get your bids in, here we go. Hold on. Are you serious? Okay, I put Ren in time out. We don't have time for such foolishness. Um, if he comes back in, I don't know how long that's going to last. Christy, could you not delete him? I tried to block it and it, it wouldn't block it. Thank you for your bids. Thank you, Alicia, for your bid of 32. Again, you are getting the set. Forgive me, guys, when stupidity happens like that. Okay, we're at 32. Well, thank you, Brian. Because, see, I tried to block him, and now it's saying he's only blocked for five minutes. And mess like that, it's not good. He could mess me up. Well, maybe it was I was. Could y'all see the comment where he said, are you coming for me? Or did I just see it? Okay. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Alicia is at 32, looking for 33. I'm going to do the countdown. Get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Looking for the bid end. Yeah, he sent me a thing saying, are you color? Did you make a hit at me or something? I mean, anybody asking for panties? Yes, there are collectors. Yes, and I have to be respectful, but no, you don't talk like that. Okay, congratulations goes to Chris Duff with his bid of 33. Thank you so much. Okay, so Chris got the license. His panties are in a wad, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> Folks, look at this beautiful pink Fostoria dish. I'm asking for a $24 start. This is Fostoria, folks. No chips or cracks. It is stunning. Get your bids in now. $24. Oh, Sandy, refresh. Oh, I, I, I knew what you meant, Rach. <laughs> if he comes back, y'all, I sick y'all on him, okay? You have my blessing. Because I think, unfortunately, I could only, it would only let me time him out for five minutes. Okay, Anita is at 24. Thank you for your bid. Beautiful piece. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Here we go. Get your bids in. This is Faustoria, everyone. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end on the Faustoria. She's a beaut. Looking for the bid end. Congratulations, Anita. Thank you so much. Okay. I know there are some baseball fanatics that can appreciate this ashtray. It's so cute. 
It's made like the little um, baseball diamond, and I am going to include the baseball valentine. I mean, I have just done your valentine shopping for you. I need just a 15 I don't, gosh, that's too cheap. Anyway, $15 start. $15 start on this. Well, Anita, I'm glad you came to your senses. It is stunning. Thank you so much. I need a $15 start on the baseball ashtray with the valentine. No chips or cracks, just a $15 start. If you're not feeling the valentine, we can take it back. <laughs> and just, just focus on the baseball theme. Put your jewelry in it for the summertime, $15. Mm, mm, mm. I can't imagine, folks. We're moving on. This sweet little puppy dog pencil holder also could be remote control or jewelry holder. Good night, Sandy. Thank you so much and congratulations on your wins. Looking for a $15 start on this sweet hound. $15 start. We just saw the musical Stein that plays when you hold it up. Very different vintage piece. $15, no chips or cracks. Now, we need to have a come to Jesus moment on these vases or vases, excuse me. Um, let's see, where are the birds? Look at that. The two parrots, can you see the parrots nestled in each other, facing each other? This was for choice. Um, I did these as choice with an $18 start. They're absolutely beautiful, $18 start. And you would either get the blue one or this beautiful red one, $18 start. They're nice, large vases, $18 start on these two vases. I cannot imagine $18 start. Please remember anything that is not sold tonight. These prices are for my favorite people online. Once they are inventoried, it will not be $18. So right now, I'm just asking for an $18 start on the blue parrot vase or the stunning Valentine Christmas red vase. $18 start. And we have this cute, cute choker. Wonderful, wonderful 80s piece with our, oh gosh, it's not focusing, is it? There we go. With our plastic heart and the black and blue, and I love the way it clasps in the back. This is just a $12 start for this wonderful 80s memory. Why, yes, Ellen, I could show you the puppy dog again. It's just a $15 start. He is originally a pencil holder. Of course, you could sit it on your desk and put your pencils in and put a pencil in his tail. He's really cute. No major chips or cracks. He just requires a $15 start. $15 start. Now, yeah. Beautiful milk glass. Mm, mm, mm. Candy dish requires a $24 start. Love that circle pattern. $24 start for the milk glass candy dish. We have the glass grapes, as you can see. Beautiful on the mirror vanity. They required, did I say a $15 start? That's that's too cheap. But anyway, $15 start. It, I didn't see a marking. I did not see Westmoreland on it. Adorable alabaster birds with that pink accent. 
They require an $18 start. I will start this little perfume bottle at $15. The little pink satin perfume bottle at $15. This set, gorgeous, requires a $24 start. $24 start. The wonderful vintage metal red cash register. Okay. Lucy, are you bidding on the perfume set that required a $24 start? Just let me know. Okay. I think Lucy is bidding on this gorgeous set right here. Thank you for your bid. I'm going to go ahead and do the countdown. If anyone is interested, now is the time to place your bid. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. On the perfume bottle and powder jar set. Congratulations, my Lucy. You got it for just $24. Okay, the bank required a $20 start. And this stunner requires a $29 start. Okay, folks, this is our last chance on the recap. Speak now or forever hold it. Thank you to those who claim something the second time around. It is beautiful and it's a good size. Okay. Let's get to it. Let me turn the camera off for a second while I get you set up. Okay, we have a bid on the puppy dog. Thank you so much. We have a bid of 15. Looking for 16. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for that bid end. Now I'm going to turn the camera off while we're looking for the bid end. That won't affect the bids. I'm going to get you set up. Okay. Do, do. Hold on. Got a Joss. Congratulations, Ellen. Thank you so much. Turn the light on. Boop. All right, here we go. Oh, goodness. You're not supposed to be seeing that. Hold on. Okay. I got to move that stuff on the side. Oh, shucks. I'm supposed to show this. I act like this is the first time I've done this. Here we go, folks. This is the winner's choice round. It is filled with beautiful things. And all I ask is for a $5 start. Now, this will function just like the regular auction. You will bid and the highest bidder gets choice of anything you see in front of you. That's right, folks. We have uranium. We have things that glow. Beautiful pieces, fun toys, great memories. All I ask is for a $5 start, and they are off. Thank you for your bids. We have Cupy, a piece of Pyrex, no lid, a cute vase, but let me show you what this thing can do. Hold on. 
I'm unprepared. Everyone just close your eyes. Thank you for your bids. I don't mean to make you sick. Here we go. Check this out. <gasps> I had no idea. Did you? Did you know that thing could glow like that? Now you do. Get that cute little. Thank you for your bids. Right now, Brian is at 10. Vintage Valentine's. And if anything, um, I'll let you know about any marks of character. Now, the mirror, the mirror, folks, the hand mirror does not have a mirror. Does that make sense? It's just the shell, which how often, you know, that's what we use to display on our dressers anyway. So it does not have the original mirror. I have seen people put, like, use this as a picture frame. Really cute. But this is a nice old hand mirror. It just doesn't. It just can't reflect. But it looks so, it can look so pretty. Just like it is. Thank you for your bids. Donald Duck, he is, he's awesome. And he has his original tag. He's a squeaker. Excellent coloring. This is like a 1980s McDonald toy transformer. Great powder box. Occupy Japan. Thank you for your bids. Well, thank you, Laura. Laura knows. Great little coffee can. I love the velvet bow tie. Mr. Peanut, I will be selling the two little Valentine picks together. And check out these. Oh, they glow like a Christmas tree, folks. Now, the salt shaker does have a little bit of fog to it. Um, and the aluminum cap, as you can see right here at my thumbnail, is deteriorated a little bit. But, oh my gosh, that pattern is so art deco skyscraper buildings just wonderful that's a little gobel a little gobel person i don't think he's an angel he doesn't have wings mickey mouse uh wind up musical radio the cherub is marked it is gobel thank you for your bids we are at a uh, 12 with Brittany harrison it is marked Goebel. Thank you for your bids. We have another piece of, of Fenton. Yes, sirree. She glows. A cute little purple dish, art glass dish. Now, there, are, this dish, there are no chips or cracks, but it does wobble a little bit. So just be aware of that. Vintage Valentine's, an adorable bird vase. Another little cutie. And that will be sold separately from the ruby red uh, toothpick holder. I will put Bam Bam and Pebbles together, the mugs. Then we have some more of uranium glass, folks. Just This is just the single little goblet there. Pink Depression. Does the Fenton Vate, it is smooth. It is smooth. Thank you for that subscription. Thank you, Laura. Now, he's a little, um, we need to wake up, folks. I believe he's a Star Wars little figure. This is a gorgeous glass candlestick. Yes, she's a single gal, but single girls need love, too. There are no chips or cracks. Look at the heart. Isn't it beautiful? And it's made so you can put a prism in each side. Beautiful cut glass vase and another ruby red specimen. This is smooth to the touch. Smooth to the touch. Okay. All right, folks. We are at 13. Looking for 14. I'm going to put you on the tripod. Thirteen, looking for fourteen. Excuse me while I shake you.
once we get settled, all this will stop. Okay. Thank you for your bids. We're at 14 with Lucy. Looking for 15. Folks, we have some pretty fantastic pieces on the board. We are at 14, looking for 15. 14, looking for 15. I am going to start the countdown. Don't forget, we have Fenton. We have Uranium. We have Disney memorabilia. All wonderful things. Get your bids in. You want to be the highest bid before the bid end comment. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. What is the green aside, Mr. Peanut? It is a pre bracelet. Pretty little bracelet. Now, I'm just going to say it's plastic. So if it's more than plastic, that will just be a bonus. But it's beautiful. What is the pink box by Donald? It's a powder box. I will show that to you. Congratulations goes to Brittany Harrison with her bid. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I am losing my voice. With her bid of 17. I promise I'm not crying. Brittany, congratulations. You got it. Yes. Is that too close? Isn't she beautiful? So we are claiming just, just this little vase. For 17. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Thank you so much. Now, let's add. You may begin again. Looking for a $5 start. I'm going to add this perfume bottle to the board. Now, please know the perfume bottle does have on the, you can see the fabric is deteriorated a little bit on one side. You can turn that around and it will not be as noticeable. Thank you for your bids. Thank you for your bids. Let's do it. Thank you, thank you. Keep on bidding. Thank you for your bids. Okay, where are we? Right now, Cat is in the lead with 11. Nope, now Daniel is in the lead with 12. Good night, Kim. Thank you so much. Lucy's in the lead with her bid of 15. Get your bids in, everybody. Lucy's in the lead. Really cute stuff on the board. Here we go. I'm going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. Oh, Aunt Kiki, I'm so sorry. Here's the powder box. Let's see. Congratulations goes to Lucy with her bid of 15. Aunt Kiki, here is the lovely powder box with the lady lounging in her. It's plastic and fantastic. She's in her hammock. It is 
whatever brand that is, if you can read it, it unscrews like so. It, it maybe had just a little bit of powder left, but not really. Okay, Lucy is going to take the tall, clear vase. Excellent decision. Thank you so much, Lucy. So Lucy is getting the vase with her bid of 15. Okay, let's see. What can we put in place of the vase? How about an adorable set of pig salt and peppers? They're in wonderful condition. Let's go. Looking for a $15 start. We are adding the cute little piggies to the board. Thank you for your bids. All right, we're at nine. Keep on going, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get your bids in. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Get your bids in. Here we go. All right. Oops, I forgot to put this little lady back up there. Right now, Cat Corbell is in the lead at 13. Get, here we go. 15, 14, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Everybody get your responses Ready? Congratulations goes to Daniel with his bid of 14. Thank you, Daniel. What would you like on the board for $14 each? $14 each. Okay, Daniel's getting the Gobel figurine. Thank you so much. It's in wonderful condition. There he is. Thank you so much, Daniel. Okay, Cat has started the next round. Let's see. What can we put? I'm going to add this little cutie pie, this little blue, vintage blue poodle. Now, this was a poodle that was once joined to, to his mama and brother or sister, but it's still super sweet and blue. We're going to add that to the board. Get your bids in. Thank you so much. We're at eight, looking for nine. Eight looking for nine. Eight looking for nine. Thank you for your bids. We're still at nine. Let's do the countdown. Good stuff. Wake up, everybody. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, looking for the bid end. I 
can't decide whether she's naked or not. To me, I almost see like like a bathing suit, like a lot, but maybe I'm just thinking that. I'll let you decide. Congratulations goes to Cat. Nick and Cat with their bid of 13. Thank you so much. What would you like for $13 each? As soon as they make their selection, you may begin again. The tall Fenton vase. Yes. Thank you so much. Good deal. And we are going to replace that with this beautiful pineapple style. Now I saw, let's see, they were referring to it as a toothpick holder and an egg cup. I will let you decide. It is made or it is marked um, Fort Wayne Outfitters, Fort Wayne Outfitters, toothpick holder or egg cup. Thank you for your bids. We're adding that to the board. We're at seven looking for eight, seven looking for eight. Seven looking for eight. All right, here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid in. Good night, Nick and Cat. Thank you so much. All right. Anita Lassiter. She won that round with her bid of nine. What would you like for just nine dollars each? Nine dollars each. She wants the green. So well, hallelujah. Thank you so much. I tell you, you have scored some stuff tonight. The green salt and pepper, the pig salt and pepper, and the amethyst bowl. Thank you so much. Okay, let me get grab her items. She's getting the uranium salt and pepper. The pigs and the amethyst bowl I'm coming thank you thank you Anita okay oh you're fine um is the face mug in the front no it is not plastic it is not plastic. Um, I don't know whether you would say porcelain or not. Made in Germany. I'll just tell you not that it means a thing. It had a $35 price tag on it when I adopted it. Made in Germany. No chips or cracks. He's a special little guy. You're fine, Miss Anita. Okay. We are going to add... Okay, right now, Aunt Kiki's in the lead with her bit of six. We're going to add this plastic Donald Duck that he glows like crazy. He's got that day glow. I don't know what he's made out of, but I mean, he goes from orange. He goes from red to this hot pink orange under black light. I don't know if that means anything to you, but I thought it was cool. Now, he looks like he, he might have been nibbled on a little bit. 
<laughs> like he might have been a somebody's teething toy, but he's still on his fingers and his toes, but he still sits quite handsomely on the shelf. We're at six, looking for seven. Six, looking for seven. Six looking for seven. I'm going to add this little blue acro agate pitcher. There are no chips. It does not have the lid. It's still really cute. So we're adding this blue acro agate pitcher to the board. Six looking for seven. Six looking for seven. Here we go, get your bits in folks. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bit in. All right, congratulations, Diane won that round with her bid of eight. Thank you so much. What would you like for eight dollars each? As soon as Diane picks, you may begin again. Just waiting on Diane's response. Her $8 bid, what would she like? The face mug and the red glass face pitcher. Oh, beautiful. This is just, this is, I think this is stunning, Diane. Thank you so much. So beautiful. And he is so cute. He's coming for you, Diane. Thank you so much. Okay, and they're off. Right now, Brian is in the lead. Thank you for your bids. Keep on bidding. Thank you so much. Brian's still in the lead with his bid of eight. Oh, I forgot to add to the board. Let's see. I'm going to add this little Madam Alexander. She was a uh, McDonald's, a collaboration with McDonald's for the 100th anniversary of Madam Alexander 100th anniversary teddy bear doll. She's got a little teddy bear in her pocket. We're going to add her. Okay, Brian is still at eight. Let's do the countdown. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, looking for the bid in. Looking for the bid in. And Daniel, don't let me forget about that sugar and creamer you wanted to see. Okay, congratulations goes to Brian with his $8 bid. What would you like, Brian, for just $8? Let me 
You got it. That's what I thought. Thank you so much. Okay, so Brian is going to take. Daniel just spent all of all of his allowance. Oh, never. Never. Thank you, Brian. Okay, Brittany is started at five. Ellen is at six. I'm going to add this little bohemian heart-shaped dish. I don't know whether you want to say this is charcoal or amethyst. I'm going to lean more towards charcoal, but it kind of looks amethyst in some ways. Now, when I was looking this up online, they were referring it, they were saying that it was a tea, like it could be a tea caddy, like you put your little tea bags in it or something. Really cute. Great for uh, to put your earrings or rings in at the end of the day. Good night, Rach. Thank you so much. See you next week. Ellen is in the lead with her bid of six. Okay, looking for seven. Get your bids in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Looking for the bid in. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Brittany Harrison. Brittany. For $7 each, what would you like to claim? Just $7 each. She wants the kitty valentine. Oh, it's so good. Thank you so much, Brittany. I'm perfectly sure. I want you for my Valentine. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that handwriting on the back. Oh my. If hubby is away, Mary dear, then it's to marry from Bill. Wow. Scandalous. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brittany. All right, Cassandra and, it's, and Anita are turning in. Good night. Mwah. Thank y'all so much. Ellen is at five. I had some more Valentines, but I think maybe we need to hold them. I, I don't know if you all are interested enough. I know. So you, you didn't know you were going to buy such a scandalous vintage car, did you, Brittany? Ellen is at five. Looking for six, five looking for six. Thank you, Daniel, for your bit of six looking for seven. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Yes, ma'am. I will show you that green bracelet right now. Daniel has the board with his bid of six. Here is the little green bracelet. I'm going to say it's plastic. If it's not plastic, it'll just be even better. It's really pretty. Okay, Daniel, let me know what you need in your life. Everything's okay. I didn't spill the drink. <laughs> okay. 
for just six bucks, Daniel got himself a little naked lady. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for your adoption, Daniel. She's coming your way. All right, and they're off. We're at five looking for six. Five looking for six. Hello, Helen. Good to see you. You're welcome, Lucy. Ellen was the first five, so I need somebody to break that tie. Looking for six. You take it. <laughs> Looks like Brian. <laughs> Looks like Brian wanted her to. Glad you could join us, Helen. Okay, Ellen was the first six, looking for seven. Let's do the countdown, ladies. Oh, I forgot to add. I'm gonna add this cute little rings and things. You're supposed to be able to put your rings in it, sit it near the sink. We'll add that to the board. Okay, get your bids in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Okay, Ellen. Ellen was the first six. Congratulations. What would you like for six dollars each? Just six dollars each. Well, hello, NW Sunshine. Thank you for coming. Okay, we are waiting on Ellen's selections, and you may begin again. Just all I need is a start of $5. Soon as we hear from Ellen. Okay, here we go. She wants the pink box, the green bracelet, and can you scan it closer again? The whole board. Let's see. She knows she wants the pink powder box and the green bracelet. Did you mean the whole board? Or just these? The couple are marked Occupied Japan. Yes. Okay, here we go. Ooh. They have the baby, the Bohemian Tea Caddy. Beautiful perfume bottle, that wonderful vintage Valentine. The little Tonka NASA toy, ruby red sugar. Occupied Japan couple, Donald Duck, that beautiful mirror. The beautiful hand mirror that does not have the mirror, but it's still gorgeous. A little blue dish. Mickey Mouse. The um, milk glass bottle. The coffee can. The Flintstones, another little baby. The little bird vase. Good stuff, still on the board. Okay. All right, I think we've started off again. Aunt Kiki is at six. Looking for seven. I'm sorry, 
I got to shake you up when I take you off of the shake and bake. Okay. Okay, Ellen, you would. Okay. Since I was in the process of showing it to um, Ellen, I will let her claim this bow tie. It's so cute. I want somebody to put this on a vintage teddy bear. So Ellen is also going to get this bow tie for six. Okay. We have started a new round and Aunt Kiki is at six. Donald. NW Sunshine, you want to look, let's look at, let's look at Donald together. He's really good. I mean, seriously. Look at the coloring. He is a squeaker. He has the original tag made in Japan. Made in Japan. Walt Disney Productions. I do not see any marks manufacturer on it, but he is, he is wonderful. He is not a $5 duck. I can tell you that he is great. Okay. Oh, you have your grandmother's rings and things. I know. So we're looking for just a $7 bid. You got to stand him up just right. He wants to lean forward a little bit. But he's capable of being a good boy. Oh, I think he's fantastic. 1970s or before. Sounds good to me. Okay. Aunt Kiki is like, would you hurry up and call this round? Here we go. We're just at six. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Okay. On Kiki for six dollars. Go easy on me. What would you like? For six dollars. Oh, she wants the rings and thing. Isn't that cute? Okay, thank you so much. You got it. All righty. Space these things out a little bit. Okay. If y'all want to continue, let me know by showing those bids. You're welcome. All right, on Kiki got the rings and things. Okay, do I have a five dollar bid? If not. I can tuck you all in for the night. Okay, Diane is at five, looking for six. Five looking for six. This will be the last round of the night, everyone. So this is the last chance at what's on this board. Last call. This is the last call. Good night, Aunt Kiki. Thank you so much. We are at five looking for six. Diane will be the last person to claim if there will if there are no nobody else wants to chime in. Thank you, Ashley, for your bid of six. Looking for seven. Six looking for seven. Here we go. 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. Looking for the bid end. Thank you, Daniel. There is the bid end. Congratulations goes to Diane. Diane with her bid of seven. All right, Diane, what would you like for seven dollars each? Donald Duck, the big cupie, and the glass tea holder. Excellent choices. Big cupie, Donald Duck, and the bohemian tea holder. Thank you so much. All right. That's a wrap tonight, folks. Let me, let's get over here to the other. Let's go to the other side together. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Do, do, do. Okay. Let me change the camera. Boop. We need the front and we need it to mirror. Here we go. Very good. Very good. Okay, well, that concludes tonight's sale. Thank you so much. I hope everyone enjoyed the triple streaming effect tonight. I, I think it seemed to go smoothly. We did recruit some Facebook people. I am excited about that. I'm not sure till till I go out and look. I think we I think we hit 400. I think we did. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley. Always good to see you, girl. Okay. Let me take my last swig so I can talk. All right. Anybody? I don't think if you were a new customer tonight, all you have to do is send me your PayPal email information to the jcphoto at charter.net email address in the bottom of the screen. Okay. So. Local pickup on Friday and Saturday from 11 to 5. Please private message me to set up your pickup appointment. The store is still closed for the winter. We will continue doing our online sales. I thank you so much for making this possible, for spending Wednesday nights with me. I'm going to try to keep incorporating new things. You all seem to really like that Um I did five items in 30 seconds, which was really too, <laughs> I didn't know I was allowed 90 seconds. So think of what I could do in 90 seconds next time. So I'm going to try to do some more of them on Instagram. So be on the lookout. I'll try to build it up to like your daily dose of vintage on Instagram. So goodbye, Helen. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Good night. Sleep tight. I will see you next Wednesday night. And I was not trying to rock. <laughs> Good night, everybody.